Well, hello stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper and I have to say this must be a record. This is part three of one video and you're going to see that I look a bit different. My hair's down. It's a different day and I was going to just start from scratch but then I took a look at the first two videos and they were too precious. I thought I have to keep this as a three-part video for one card. It's just the way life rolls. In the last two weeks I've had a plethora of of um, kids and grandkids here and I've been wearing my Oma hat more than ever and um, so then my card making my pampered stamper business kind of um, goes a little bit on shaky ground because I don't want to be the person laying on my deathbed thinking I wish I'd spent more time with the grandkids and my kids my loved ones um, I'm not gonna lay on my deathbed thinking oh my goodness I didn't work hard enough on my business I could have achieved more um, so I know you guys know that and I just think you know what here's the proof so here is number three it's really a fun card so let's take a look um, we left off so this is the this is what the finished card is gonna look like here focus um, and the last thing we left off with so here is the stamp set the waves of the waves of inspiration the whole suite is called waves of the ocean and the last thing I had done was stamp the waves. So I'd stamped in Bermuda Bay and then I stamped first, yeah, first in Coastal Cabana and then in Bermuda, no, first in Bermuda Bay and then Pacific Point. And then I spritzed and I used a stitched rectangle instead and I'm using shimmery white cardstock. So now before I put on my layering waves, I'm going to sponge the sky and then we're gonna stamp the sentiment. So that's the order of business. And I'm just clearing some stuff out of the way. So here's some grid paper. I have a blending brush and I'm going to use balmy blue. Uh, yeah, I shed like a dog. So it's life. It's a beautiful day here in Chatham, Kent. It's 20 degrees. And after this, I'm going to go sit outside and, and stamp in the sun. So always start off the edge. Oh, and I still got a spot. Oh, well, we'll stamp some birds on there. I don't know what happened there. Um, life, I suppose. And usually when you have a lighter hand, maybe, you know what I think? Maybe I, maybe I spit a little on there and it was some moisture. Who knows? So I'm going to bring in some blues here. I just didn't want my sky to be stark. You could sponge. I've done that in some of my other cards. This is the last one in my series. This, um, this whole suite is available for March, but after March 31st, then you can no longer get the beautiful gems you can't get the foil paper or the pattern paper, but the stamp set and the dies will be in our annual catalog. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that for a second. Um, there is the single bird. I think I'm going to stamp your strength is an inspiration there. Um, you know, I think it's really important to honor your elders. And I think that sometimes when older people are going through tough times or... It's really nice to acknowledge them that um, that they inspire us. So this would be a great card to send to someone who's really done well with life. You know, you just never know where they're at. Sometimes I think they feel very vulnerable and useless when they're old because there's so little that they can do. Yeah, there's those are some young guys on their, um, I don't know if they're little motorcycles. I think they used to call those crotch rockets, very coarse term, but somewhere appropriate. It's such a beautiful day. They're just so happy to be alive. Okay, I think I want to stamp this perhaps just in Memento Black. Um, let's have a look. Let's see. There. Now, someone did say do not use the dishwasher to clean your plates, okay? So you do just have to use some elbow grease. There. Okay, so I'm happy with that, but I'm not happy with that smudge. So I'm going to fix the smudge, and then we're just going to add our waves. And let's see, I need to find a bird. Now this is just a single bird. We do have stamp sets that have multiple birds. I think On the Horizon has a whole plethora of birds. And let's see, I need a little block. I'm going to steal this one. This is not a little block, but it will do. And then I'm thinking Pacific Point. I 
my Pacific Point ink pad is not handy. It's right here. Okay. Knight of Navy would work too, but I'm just trying to use the same color family. Let's get you back in. Now, because this is a tiny little stamp, use just a delicate pressure. And there. And maybe this one's coming in close to the waves. Sometimes the birds like to play in the waves, right? Okay, so now we're going to put this on our piece of foil. This foil is the same size as a card front. So maybe I'll put the whole thing on the card right away. We'll do that first. So I have a basic, thick, basic white piece of um, cardstock. It's 11 inches by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And some liquid adhesive. I like to hold it upside down, put it somewhere, and now we're just going to lay that on top, slide it into position. There, that looks good. And now we're going to put this on. Now I'm just doing it flat because my waves are going to be there. So I don't want to pop it up because that will lead to problems with our waves. There. And I just, you know, you could cut something out from the foil in behind, but I've already done that a few times and I just didn't feel like doing that. But if you cut a smaller stitched rectangle out, you could use it for something else because you're just covering it up, okay? But I just love the luxury of having that whole card front in that beautiful foil. So now we're going to use this blue wave piece, and I'm going to offset it, but I want to cut this off here. I don't want that extending. So I'm just going to eyeball that there. And then, well, let's do this first. So the way I want to put this on is I'm going to use my silicone mat, like so, and my liquid glue, make a little puddle, and do a little bit more. And then a sponge. I keep my sponges in a bag, a little Ziploc bag. You know, your accessories, your um, embellishments come in those little bags. Just save them. They're perfect for your bags. I mean, they're perfect for your sponges. And we just dab that flat like so. And then just sponge it over top of your element. And that way there's no oozing of glue. So this works really well. And I'm just going to pick it up and just lay it on the card like so. See? And I'm going a little bit off the edge, see? It just adds interest, I think, rather than leaving it square on, just tap it in place. And then now we're gonna take the sparkly one, like so. And you see they're different, they're different shapes and sizes. So it, they really just add dimension. And then to add to the feeling of movement in this wave, I'm only going to add adhesive to the bottom and that, that one edge, okay? And I'm going to clip this off as well, like so. And let's get our silicone mat back in place. We're going to add a little bit more glue there. I don't have enough because you really do want it to stick. You don't want this piece falling off. It's not fun when your handmade card falls apart in your recipient's hands. So remember, we're just doing the edge and the bottom. And we're leaving the wave piece, the big curve of the wave, we're leaving it free. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And then be sure to put your sponge back in the bag when you're done. And so this is going to go, we're just going to start on the corner. Like so. And move that up ever so gently. And now look at that. So the wave is just kind of popping out a little bit. It's really, I, I, I really love these dies. I wasn't, like I, I saw the possibility when I bought this stamp, the bundle, 
and I thought it was going to be good, but now that I've played with it, I'm, I'm really totally sold on it. I, I really, really like it. Um, I think all of us kind of dream of being able to play in those great big waves and to be that surfer and to live just without any fear, just to live with abandon. Doesn't that sound amazing? So anyway, it's been my joy and pleasure to um, show off this suite to you in the last few weeks. I hope that you um, that you add it to your collection, that you were inspired. And um, if you want a parcels in the post, let me know. It's a collection of 10 sheets of cardstock, um, a 12, uh, 6 by 6 collection of the um, pattern paper, a set of the jewels. Oh, you know what? These are the cards that we've made the whole time. And then this one we did last week with the, with the embossing. And then we did this one with the Misty Pelican. And yeah, that's it. So anyway, it's been wonderful. Do be sure to click on that red subscribe button on the bottom right corner. And I always love it when you leave comments. It makes me so happy to be a part of a vibrant stamping community that, um, that communicates and supports each other and gets to know each other across the world, really. It's quite amazing. And I do know that we can change the world one card at a time. Happy stamping. And thank you so much for being here. All right. Have a super day. Bye.